you know, it's a new age idea, but it also goes way back to scholasticism in the Middle Ages, and it goes back to, uh, you know, Leibniz, you know, that's the best of all possible worlds. And I just feel as a human being, you know, that, you know, either nothing has any meaning or everything does. I just think that's true. If nothing has any meaning, then you're always in this mode of like, fuck, you know, I missed the two o'clock screening, you know. And like today we have this photo shoot at two, and we have a screening at two. And I could be like, damn it, you know, and I could spend my life going, damn it, damn it at life. Or I could go, you know, holy blessed life that it is this. And for me, like, it's not fatalistic at all. It's like, it's just acceptance and embrace of what is. And you have no choice but what is. And if what is what is, you can embrace it or you can say, I don't like this. I'm not going to like, I'm, I'm going to just like have a bad, I'm going to be in a bad mood and sullen about what's happening to me. But you know, what's happening to you is all that is. And you really have that, it seems to me the only choice you have is to say, this is beautiful or this is unfortunate. And why say this is unfortunate? Because it's not going to change anything except that you can be in bliss or you can be in hell. And I've been in hell most of my life and I'm just trying to...